people face dangerous heat on the beach. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with yet another heat wave here on Delmarva. The high temp temperatures are not stopping beachgoers or the people who keep them safe. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us how first responders battle the potentially life-threatening temps. People along the beach make sure to stay cool during another hot day in Ocean City. And Brett Weingard, the sergeant of the Ocean City Beach Patrol, says no one has had a heat stroke yet, but it's been a problem. We have had some heat-related emergencies, um, and usually that is because of lack of hydration. So, you know, when you're coming to the beach, you want to make sure that you're hydrated before you get to the beach, you know, and while you're here. Weingard supplies all of the Ocean City lifeguards with water to make sure they're hydrated and watching the beach closely. But these lifeguards aren't the only people keeping locals and vacationers safe in this heat. The Ocean City Fire Department is too. Firefighters have to throw on their already heavy gear and deal with emergencies that can be extremely hot. So the Ocean City Fire Department has created a mechanism to cool them down after a call. They have a fan that supplies mist to the firefighters while they sit in a cooling chair which allows them to put their arms in ice to cool them down fast. We also use that for the public. If folks uh, on the beach, if we get a large number of patients that are experiencing heat exhaustion or heat stroke, uh, we can help cool them down with the cooling chairs. We have enough of them and even our misting fans as well. The heat wave is expected to last until Wednesday, where the weather is looking to hopefully cool down. I'm Kevin Zappé in Ocean City, Coast TV News.